Welcome back to Productivity in Real Life. This is our working with Evernote series and very specifically working with the iOS version of Evernote, version uh, 10.0.4 to be more precise. And today we wanted to have a quick look at uh, sketch notes in Evernote on your iPad. This comes from uh, two things. One, there was today released version 10.0.4 of, of Evernote uh, for iOS. And secondly, a user on our uh, YouTube page, one of, the, one of our viewers, Alvaro here, wrote, I came back to this video because I just discovered that if I disable the scribble feature on settings slash Apple Pencil, Evernote Sketches does recognize the Apple Pencil again. Hope this helps. And uh, I, I certainly replied here, wow, uh, nice find with that fix. I've only ever tried Scribble with that iOS feature when it first came out and fairly quickly dismissed it. Uh, I, I'm basically a messy hand writer, so that Scribble mode for me doesn't do much good. But some people do use it. So let's jump over to the iPad here. And I'm going to turn Scribble mode on because I just played around with a video uh, for about an hour here and right at the end of the video went back and turned scribble mode on and I was very surprised by the results so Apple settings here your cogwheel under um, Apple pencil tap these are my settings right now only draw with Apple pencil I have turned on Scribble I have turned on. So with the only draw with Apple Pencil, your fingers will be used for scrolling. And that's that's quite fine for me. Jump back to Evernote. If you haven't used Evernote in a while on your device, I strongly recommend force closing it, just like that, swipe up on it, reopen it. This seems to force a sync and sort of wake things up. I've been finding that it goes to sleep and or whatever we want to call it and when that happens you're going to have all kinds of problems. You're going to have sync issues, you're going to have well you, you could have lost data if you started typing a note in and Evernote is sleeping in behind the scenes and then you think it's saved but it's not. That's for another discussion but uh, if you get in the habit of doing what I just did there I think iOS, you're going to have a fairly respectable uh, performance here out of Evernote. Anyway, here's our here's our screen up. We're going to go to the dark green arrow area on our new note with the little up arrow. Tap and start sketching. That will create us a new note and a new blank screen for sketching. We'll zoom in here. Let's just pinch to zoom, pinch out to uh, zoom out. I'll show you a couple of quick things. Up in the top right is our Snap 2 feature. So if we start drawing a square, Evernote recognizes that and gives us a square. Triangles are a little harder for it to recognize. Um, yeah, it's... There's one. Um, circles aren't as bad. They fairly easily recognize here. Ellipse, an ellipse uh, circle over there, and we'll leave that turned on here. Rectangles work, vertical and horizontal. Horizontal seems to be maybe a little bit better. There we go, there's a vertical one. Eraser tool down in the bottom is a one size fits all unfortunately if you zoom out there's the size you get if you zoom in it gets bigger as you zoom in too so you lose precision what you can do is use your knife tool there on the bottom right hand corner come in draw around what you want and basically move that out of the way let's just try that again move that over and out of the way and then you could always come out and erase. So again, scribble mode is turned on on this iPad and we used to have all kinds of problems with pen support with missing uh, missing strokes. So you could draw a line 
and it wouldn't get it. Let's just turn that off for handwriting. That's our scribble mode from the top right hand corner. Our three dots let you snap to shape. Just another way to toggle it. Reset the zoom, fit to screen, and clear all. We'll leave everything on there for right now. But we're just going to do a basic handwriting test. We're in font size 2 purple ink. We've zoomed in because when you want to write something on a tablet device. I've always found that if you zoom in you can write bigger and therefore neater and then when you zoom out you get some clean clean decent looking text. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I kind of missed our exclamation point as we started doing that there. I'm not worried too much because I also had my palm shifting on the screen at the same time that I was doing that. But that to me looks good. My, my writing is messy and I don't expect you to be able to read it but to me that looks good. Uh, we had no missing pen strokes here. A couple other things I wanted to quickly show you um, is we have infinite paper on the go. So you can see I just keep on going and that canvas keeps expanding. There's a flaw with that though. Two flaws. One can't see full picture. We don't know if we've got more stuff down here, up there in the top left, up in the top right, down in the bottom left. Can't see full picture. Too, too big of file size. I tried creating one of these a few minutes ago and I waited seven minutes and it still didn't save so I aborted it and I'm just going to try right now and hit done and see how long this one takes to save because we've already expanded fairly large here. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll go back, we'll hit edit. Actually, sorry, that's to edit our note. Um, tap on our picture and then we can go into edit mode down here on the bottom tap those uh, that little squiggly mark and you'll come back up to your image so wish list things seem to be coming along quite nicely wish limit I'm not even thinking of what I'm doing wish list Okay, things are looking pretty good in sketching for iOS at the moment from what I can see. So wish list already. One, paper styles, blank, lined, grid, dot, and user upload, PDF, PNG. That would be really nice to have. Two. Paper size uh, limb. Geez, I can't write at all here. Paper size limit. If it's going to have too big a file sizes to uh, reasonably save, we need to have a limit on the page size. Um, Highlighters. Highlighters highlight over top of what you're doing, so eventually it will go opaque on you, just like that. So for number three, highlight under. And we can leave that as a selectable mode. That would be nice to have. Highlight under mode instead of over top of just like you see up there erase we need to be able to select um, 
we need highlight under for eraser size. We need to be able to control eraser size. Um, for now, you can use the cutting tool, which is off on the right. Just draw around what you want to erase. If it's in a tight spot, you can move it out of the way. Then you can go back and erase. Eraser size. Cutting tool, like I said, if you have something precise, because when you zoom in, the eraser tool gets bigger. So if we wanted to erase this little squiggle here, we're losing part of our under. So we're going to go and undo. We'll use our cutting tool instead for a little bit more precision. Move it down out of the way. Come back. Now erase. And then we can come back and fix that up just like so. Anyway, that's... Uh, um, that just about does it. Um, that That's a quick look at um, sketch mode on iOS. We're running the latest Evernote version as I record this, which is 10.0.4 on an iPad Mini 5 with the original Apple Pencil, Gen 1. And uh, yeah, we're not seeing any missed pen strokes here at all, which is kind of nice. Um, just do a little sketch here. Highlighter mode if you use size 2. What I find is you actually get a nice little version for a uh, almost like a pencil crayon type effect. Whereas if you have the highlighter on too large, you get basically a chisel tip sort of thing going on here, and it's not, not as nice as far as I'm concerned. Size 2 for a highlighter is almost like a little, like I said, size 1 or size 2 highlighter. It's almost like a little pencil crayon here. Like size 2 for the highlighter is all you can do. Highlighter is also accumulative, like I said before. So there you go. We've got a like a very basic scribble note on the go. We got some some text input here with some scribbles and some arrows drawn. You know, maybe a, a typical meeting with some brainstorming. Perhaps you're a t-shirt designer and you're brainstorming ideas for a for a t-shirt and you want camp life on a t-shirt. And uh, you're you're sitting in your meeting. You've got some scribbles and some text of who's doing what and where and you're all done and you hit save or done up here in the top right give it a moment so i would say this would maybe be an average to a small size note or set of scribbles anyway hopefully we don't lose all this i went through uh, a long video a few minutes ago and ended up having to delete or force close it all because it just wasn't saving in a timely fashion I waited seven minutes and it still hadn't saved. And boy, it looks like it's having problems again. I think what's happening is the paper size is getting too large and then it doesn't work. No, I'm not going to wait. Forced close. Let's try it again. So new note, start sketching. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you because if the image gets too big, it's going to take a long time to sketch. But as you can see here, um, handwriting works quite well. Um, Apple Pencil, Scribble Mode, on. If 
give it a little bit of highlight here things are a little bit more precise uh, we're not getting some jaggedy a lot of people were seeing very jagged lines when you were zoomed out I thought that was kind of expected but uh, it does render a little bit nicely now anyway yeah it's uh, I don't want to get too carried away drawing anything again not that I'm a brilliant artist but uh, boy um, if you don't know where the limit is as far as save as far as an image size then I don't know what uh, what to really tell you here because you could work for you know an hour scribbling out a, an image uh, a document whatever and go to save it and be sitting for a very long time potentially for most maybe though this might just be down into a very usable sort of condition So I'm going to call it quits there. We're already uh, 20 minutes into this video. I shall do some editing down here and try and make this uh, fairly quick and painless for you guys as possible. We're going to go ahead and hit done. It's a very quick note just because the other one seemed to want to take far too long to try and save. And I will just show you quickly how to edit your notes because now we're back into Evernote. So we can go in, we can add tags, just hit cancel there. We can change the title if we want. and we can edit our image we'll just double tap we got our toolbar here so we hit our squiggly line that's on the left and that should take us into there we go back into edit mode again it works go ahead and hit done resave it get that keyboard out of the way and there you go. That is a quick look at iOS 10.0.4 and the Apple Pencil. This is all done on an iPad Mini uh, version 5 with the iPad Pencil Gen 1. And just to reiterate my Apple Pencil settings here, only draw with Apple Pencil is turned on and so is scribble mode still turned on. So I'm quite surprised by that. It's working good and uh, yeah enjoy scribble mode just be very very careful because it sure seems that if you get too large of an image on the go you're going to be sitting waiting for it to save for a, a very very long time and might have to force close the app and actually lose what you were working on um, seems like we've got infinite paper here's one that i was scribbling on earlier zooming into there and that's when we start getting into problems also when you're in the preview mode I should show you this on the very top right hand corner a little tiny X up there buried almost under the battery icon Evernote needs to move that to make it a little bit bigger or more more user friendly so if you're in the preview mode and you can't figure out how to get out of it that little tiny X up in there will do it um, some more scribble notes that I was working on um, and I did this one the other day inserted right into an existing note and it worked worked quite well saved fairly quickly and no uh, no loss of um, pen strokes which is extremely nice anyway that's it for now thanks for watching productivity in real life this is our working with Evernote series be sure to like subscribe and of course share this video